Well, hello out there. Um, I hope you are interested in learning more about Mason Martin Margiela. And I know that there has been a lot of talk about them. You've seen all over YouTube. Well, the purpose of this video is to dive deep into what should you get? I mean, it's so many of them. You have Beach Wall, Coffee Break, Lazy Sunday Morning, Jazz Club, By the Fireplace, New Horizon. You have Whisper in the Library, Bl uh, Bubble Bab, Flower Market, Sale Day. Don't even talk about the new one. The new one out is called Amber Vibes. So I know that they are pushing the envelope on you being able to get a fragrance that repl uh, replicates different environments, right? Lovely topic. But the biggest question is, which one should I actually uh, get? Because I know that I don't want to buy all of them. At least that's my thoughts. If you are interested in finding out which one I think you should start off with, at least the top four that you should get from this line, this is your video. Hello and welcome everyone to my channel. This is a fragrance channel. My name is Claudia Nari, and on here we discuss all of the things that are out right now. I give you my thoughts on the latest scents uh, that is hitting the market. I also go over what body care would I add with it? Do I even layer my fragrances? This could be designer scents we're going to talk about, niche scents. It could be about anything that you are in love with. This is a channel where all you do is tell me what are you interested in, and I try to find a way to bring it to you. In today's video, we're going to talk about Mason Mar Martin Margiela. If I'm saying that name correctly, if not, we're going to call it Replica. Okay, <laughs> well, this one here we want to dive deep into with so many fragrances they have. Which ones do you just need to start off with? Well, I'm going to give you my four, these are no brainer four. I'm gonna give you where you can get just four fragrances from their line for right now and then start your collection from there. Make sure you are hitting the notification, you are subscribing to this channel. So I wanna make sure you're not missing any information that I put out and to each and every one of the people who come back as every video I post, I wanna tell you I greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. So with no further conversation, let's jump into the topic. What for would I get? Since we are coming up on the fall, of course, you know, I'm going to start off with one that I think you should get for this coming season. And that one is going to be Jazz Club. Jazz Club was to replicate a song, right? This song was supposed to give you a vivid picture of a late night time in a club and uh all the different scents that are in the club right you want to envision low lights rich textures instruments playing like this was a mood evoking fragrance so when you wore this and i love the fact that it was unisex so both women and men can pull this off then you would get tobacco and the cigar scent right that's out there in that environment and again that was supposed to replicate the smoke that's in the club you get some dark coffee oh my god that dark coffee is almost like a like a dark roast type coffee but a, what i loved about it is it wasn't that uh strong because see that'll give you the vibe of you going to the after hours Oh, you're going to the after hour spot and you went to the club. You enjoyed yourself being in the club. You've heard really good music. They have been singing their heart out, right? So you want to go out to eat or you want to just go. You don't want the night to end. So you want to go out. So that was like you would drink you some coffee to kind of revive yourself from anything you may have drunk that night. Some rich, deep coffee. That's the note that's in it. It also has like this amber and this warm woodiness to it. What that was supposed to give you was like the glowing of the light. Like you're listening to the music and the lights are glowing and the sandalwood accord kind of gave you the atmosphere of how uh, these jazz clubs normally have like wooden thick tables that you're sitting at, right? You're in a room where like i said the smoke is all around you but yet you have like this essence of uh 
good smoothness. Well, at least that's what I envision. Being that I'm from New Orleans and everyone knows who's watching my channel, that that is where I'm from. So that is all the memories uh, that I get. There is a place out there called Tipitina's. Love it, love it, love it. That is what this is. And then on top of that, to kind of add a little more softness to it, to where you just don't have all that tobacco and coffee and and deep woody warmness, then you get this vanilla. And what the vanilla does is it wraps the fragrance up, right? It gives you a touch of creaminess and comfort. That is why I truly believe you ought to get Jazz Club. If you don't get Jazz Club, get a sample of it because they truly replicated the limelight, the fun, the light, late night vibe of being in a jazz club. Jazz club by Replica. Okay, I have one for all of my citrus, lemon, uh, very bright, fresh type people, right? So if you want to do spring, this is the springtime scent for me. This is a summertime scent for me. And I am talking about under the lemon tree. Under the Lemon Tree is uh, said to be like a relaxation, a bright, sunny lemon day. For me, it uh, well, I can tell you what the brand. Let's start off with that. I can't before I jump into what it does for me. The brand wa wanted to transport you into like a tropical bliss, right? It wanted to give you the feeling of being under a lemon tree with a uh, with palm trees in particular and the wind is blowing and you're getting the freshness and this particular uh, tree is very close to like say a lemon tree and a lemon tree if you've ever been around a lemon tree and that sun is hitting it is such a beautiful fresh clean scent like it's so good I truly truly believe that this would be amazing in cool weather, right? And for some people, it's taboo, right? For you to wear a citrus fragrance in the fall. But I do, I do. I wear some citrus fragrances in the fall because you'll be surprised with that breeze blowing how well they do. Like the notes in here is bright lemon. So again, you think of like a sunny, zesty lemon. If you ever like did lemon zest and got like that oily uh orange smell or not orange like lemon smell in the air if uh it does have myron lemon in it so um uh, is if you ever went to a store and you smelt it and you smelt the lemon that's what this is and i love a good orange blossom fragrance i love a good orange blossom fragrance it gives you like this fuzzy orange flowers because that's what orange blossom blossom is it's like this really beautiful orange fuzzy leveled freight uh flower and you find it in gardens a lot of times you see people put orange blossoms down like in the beginning of their garden in the springtime but what made me really keep this one in note to say that this is one i think you ought to get is because the jasmine note in here is not overbearing right it's a very delicate jasmine um almost like jasmine in the air the jasmine is a secondary note in it now i know your question is going to be come on claudia what i've heard about this fragrance is that it smells like pledge or it has this heavy green note to it um i don't i don't agree with that i think that that's a chemistry thing right i think that if your chemistry produces a lot of sour notes to it then maybe it would do that but it doesn't do that for me uh the green that is in it when uh, people speak of green it's more like the green leaves that's on the lemon not grassy green right like on the green leaves like it just reminds me so much of um like a if you've had a tree like i've had many fruit trees in my life right so it's the dewy smell that comes off of the tree and then it's, it's balanced out with this salt, like fresh, salty skin type note, almost like a beach. Are you on a beach and your skin gets a little warm from the sun and it has like that sun kiss type smell to it. That's what's in here. Uh, salt water, right? So it's called salt water musk. Uh, but it's like warm, tan skin, warm, airy skin. Like for me, when I decided to get into under the lemon tree, 
it was uh and again i always say i'm not that big on uh citrus fragrances but this one won me over it absolutely won me over because it wasn't real thick right it was just fresh it was clean I really believe that under the lemon tree should be one of the ones that you should have in your collection. Okay, and to round off, the last one I think that you should have in your collection is going to have to be, and again, you have to be a gourmand lover like me, right? So that's where all my choices and decisions are coming from. It's coffee break. You should have coffee break in your collection. Coffee break is like being in a busy cafe right? Uh, you smell the coffee being ground in the grinder, right? So that fresh coffee smell is in the air. You also get like this fresh, like they are uh, uh, frothing the milk, right? So they're making the milk. So it's latonic, but it's not too, like, not too heavy, but it's almost like a whipped kind of uh, latonic fragrance, because it has roasted coffee. So again, it's like the roasted grinded coffee, the texture of that, the freshness of that. It's warmed up milk from a froth machine, right? Uh, uh, it has like, and, and not your typical whole milk, right? Like um, uh, condensed milk, right? Uh, uh, maybe even some oat milk and they've warmed it up and they've made it real creamy and frothy and steamy right that's the note and then for all of us who on occasion you add a little extra spikiness to your to your coffee just on you know just you had a bad week right so you put a little extra touch up in your coffee right so the bourbon vanilla gives you that so it's like almost like a little boozy but not too boozy like you're not trying to be uh like like drunk lack of a better word right but you want to be a little tipsy a little warm and fuzzy so that's what the bourbon vanilla does is it blends together all the sweet syrup uh that they put into it uh how when some people get coffee they have to have a pastry with it <laughs> that is coffee break and then they put a little cinnamon on top of your pastry all of that is in this bottle like, I truly believe that everyone sh should have coffee break. Now, if you don't like coffee, then maybe you probably wouldn't say that, right? But for me, I do like the smell of fresh ground coffee. So coffee break is one for me because it kind of reminds you to take a break, slow down, uh, sip your coffee, uh, hear the birds chirp right again you know it's so many of them in the collection so yours could be uh you could say that we should you should get beach walk beach walk is real breezy real nice right so you might want to do beach walk you might be a person who's into that thick heavy knits and i used to have by the fireplace um and i no longer have that in my collection because i found that i wasn't really reaching for it so you could probably say well claudia why do you talk about by the fireplace uh whisper in the library for me it reminded me a lot of book by um what is it what is the name of the line that makes book um commodity and i just wasn't feeling it right so whisper in the library kind of gave me that that old book smell that you smell when you go to the library uh you're probably saying, why didn't you talk about bubble bath? That's another good one. But bubble bath was just fresh. It was fresh. It didn't last that much on my skin. So I don't, I, I wouldn't recommend that someone start off with that one, you know. Now you, if you can, if you're into fresh scents, you know, bubble bath might be your thing. Uh, but everyone I know who watches my channel, who falls in love with my channel, you, we want something, something, something with a bit of body. So there is so many. So my request to you is tell me about it. Which one would, would you have hoped to have seen in this, in this video that I didn't mention? Should I have talked about flower market? Should I have talked about, uh, sale day? Uh, I haven't got my nose on Amber Vibe, so that's why that one wasn't in here. So I can't recommend something that I haven't smelled. Uh, but if you have, tell us about it. Share it. I would love for you to share it with us about all the things that you have thought. If you have enjoyed these type of videos, this is something that you really look into. You want to come on to YouTube and just kind of interact with people because we love here in this community when you communicate 
and put a message in the chat. If I can't answer you, then one of the people who uh, follow my channel, they often answer you. You could probably find great, wonderful fragrances. So on that note, I'm going to bid you a wonderful night. I thank you for watching this video. I hope that you have subscribed. You turn on your notifications so that you will not miss any fragrance finds or new items layering that I come on here to talk about. But again, I appreciate you. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.